Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I got into that through writing music. Um, if you're curious about some music, feel free to check out my channel. Uh, moving forward, we have what on earth happened to the EQ in the new Audacity. Uh, and we're also going to cover some EQ and compression tips and tricks. So starting out, what the heck happened to the EQ and the new Audacity? I believe in Audacity 2.1, the equalizer went away. Typically, you'd go under effects, E for EQ, and it's not there. So where is it? We could try to add a plugin. Maybe we just haven't enabled it. Scroll down for E, equalization. There it is. Boom. Oh, it's just disabled. So let's enable it. Click enable. It says enabled. We'll click OK. Now, it should be here, but it's not going to be, and I'll tell you why. EQ has been replaced with filter curve. That's right. Filter curve, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact the EQ that we all know and love. Filter curve. So, it still has all of the factory presets, your ability to create an equalizer and save it. Um... You could save it however you want, and then that would be under user presets. But moving forward, tips and tricks on equalization. I have just a quick audio clip here, and I will double-click to highlight that, Control-D to duplicate it. Now, you're going to find some videos and Audacity tutorials that say, they say, if you want your vocals to sound better and more professional, all you have to do is go to EQ, which is Filter Curve, and go to Manage Factory Presets and do a bass boost. And then you would go back into Effects, go to Equalizer, which is Filter Curve, and then do a Trouble Boost. And that, that will make it sound fire. Now, uh, well-intentioned, but incorrect, and I'll tell you why. So, if we go to factory presets, we go to bass boost. First and foremost, my first issue here is that both the trouble boost and the bass boost are boosted by nine decibels. Now, that's insanity. There's no audio engineer in the world that would tell you to do that. First, that is my first issue. Second issue is the typical man speaks at around 100 hertz, a deep male voice, 85 hertz, like the deepest of deep voices, 65 hertz. So what's going on past here? This is all subwoofer stuff, low rumble. If there's a Harley Davidson a couple blocks away and you have a sensitive mic and not a lot of soundproofing, that will blow that up by nine decibels. If there's an appliance with a low rumble, that will blow that up by nine decibels. If there's construction, a jackhammer a block away, that will blow that up by nine decibels. So first issue is that it blows it up by nine decibels. Second issue is that anything below about 65 hertz is not sound being created by you. It's not sound being created by a human voice. And if you're a female, females come in at around 150 and 165. So what I just did right there is not only did I take it down from nine decibels to three, is I rolled off at about 65 because anything right here is going to be cut off now. And why? Because that is not being created by my voice, uh, nor will it be created by yours. And if you're a female, you can start that roll off even sooner. Do it over here around 140 or 130, just depending on your voice. You'd have to check that out. So that, that would be my first issue there with the bass boost. And now we're going to go back into the trouble boost. So let's go to factory presets. Let's just say that we're going to take 
the advice to do the base boost. Boom. And let's say we're going to take the advice to do the treble boost. So let's go into EQ, which is filter curve. And we will go to manage, factory presets, and treble boost. Now, once again, treble boost, nine decibels, big issue for me. Once again, no professional engineer would tell you to do that. Most engineers will tell you, in fact, if you want something to be accentuated, cut away from the rest. But none of them would tell you to bump it up nine decibels. Uh, my second issue here is that this area right here, this, you know, anywhere from about 3,000 to around 10,000 hertz, that's a lot of syllabants. So not only is that being boosted by nine decibels, but that is a ton, ton of syllabants that's being accentuated. Now, that is some of that sharp S that is piercing to our ears. And it's so, so unpleasant to hear. Um, so if you're looking for something quick, I just bring that down to about three decibels at least. But if you just wanted to brighten it up, you know, you could... Bring it down to three decibels and bring the first dot to about 10,000 10, hertz, 10 kilohertz. Um, and bring it up three decibels at about 12 kilohertz, 12,000 hertz. Um, but for the tutorial sake, let's just say we're going with the factory preset. So let's trouble boost, click OK. And I have a duplicate copy of that audio just below. We'll go to effect equalization, which is filter curve. Well, I need to highlight that. So we'll go to filter curve. Now, what I did just quickly is I took those presets and just changed them. So this is what I did. Instead of having the treble, boosted up at nine decibels, I brought it down to three and I took it out of this syllabance range here. I started it at about 10,000 hertz and around 12,000 hertz, I brought it up about three decibels. Now, this is not something I'm going to do every time. This is all situational. Um, and over here, you're going so we already have that now instead of the nine decibel bass boost and then boosting things that are outside of the human voice range, I brought that down to three decibels and at about 65 hertz, I went ahead and rolled that off. And so let's let's apply that equalizer. Now I just hit two birds with one stone there. Now, for the sake of fairness, let's finish the audio processing. So we would compress that, so it would be EQ, compression, then normalization. So we already equalized both of them. Here we have the compressor, negative 10 dBs. Anywhere from negative 10 to negative 15 dBs is great. If you over-compress the audio, it will begin to sound unnatural, boxy, crunchy, things that are undesirable. We have the noise floor at negative 40 dB. We have the ratio at 2 to 1. Attack and release time sliders all the way to the left. Let's apply that. And we'll go here. And we will apply that here as well. And we could either go to effect, compression, or, oops, cancel. Or we could just highlight the track, control R. Compression. Control R for repeat. Now, let's finish it off. Let's normalize both of them. Normalize. Let's normalize it to negative 3 or negative 2 dB. Normalize. Negative 3 as well. Pow. Now, we're going to see slight differences in the audio. You can tell that the equalizer that I created for the bottom, things seem to be more equal. <laughs> How about that? Equalizer, equal. Um, so let's just do a side-by-side. When you overboost bass, it can sound muffled. When you overboost treble, you can accentuate syllabants. You're looking for clarity. So, with the factory presets, audio processed, let's let's hear the factory. This is another valuable piece of education in Audacity.
Okay. Very muffled. And in audacity. This is a pretty tough syllabant right here. City. Ooh. City. With that sharp. It's not good. Let's let's try this. This is another valuable piece of education in audacity. Okay. So first and foremost, let's talk about that syllabant. City. In audacity. Sharp S there. In audacity. Not a sharp S. Okay. Uh, very muffled up here with the fact This is another valuable piece of education in audacity. Okay. And then with just the quick equalizer that I created. This is another valuable piece of education in audacity. So just far more clear, you can tell. Just far more clear. If you wanted to add a bit more bass, you could add a bit more bass. But those are some tips and tricks for you. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm an expert in audacity. Uh, if you need to learn more, if you have any questions on things that I haven't covered and that are not in the A to Z tutorial, um, please feel free to ask. I'm here to bring value. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help with your growing pains. This is not easy. It is easy, but, you know, it takes some time and effort to figure this stuff out. So I'm trying to save you your 10,000 hours of mastering. Let me bring value to you. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. And stay tuned. Um, I will definitely have more tutorials, how to record voiceover with background music, how to record music, how to create your own equalizers is going to be huge. Thank you so much. Have a good day.